There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. IBM Personal Computer. Well, that dates it. <laughs> um, just a quick preamble for anybody who doesn't know what that means. Uh, back in the day, back in the 80s, IBM were the first company to make a personal computer, as far as I know, and every other computer was called an IBM compatible. This is actually an IBM game by the looks of things, for the IBM personal computer from 1985, so it's almost as old as I am, if not as old as I am. Space to continue. Bouncy B learns letters. Hello, I'm Bouncy B. Let's learn our letters, direct select, options, help and exit. Let's go to help. Space to select. Let's learn our letters activates the management system. Set up your management system before you select this option. Direct select operates the program manually. So it's it's a manual for parents. That's nice. Um, let's learn our letters with Bouncy B then. Group one, select the name. Uh, type your name, James. And it's case sensitive. Fantastic flying letters. Uh, here is your letter. B. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. What am I meant to be doing? Press spacebar to continue. Say letter name. B. That makes sense for B to start with B. I'm being I'm being told by a B to say B. B. <laughs> Help Bouncy B find the letter. Bouncy B, where where is the letter? All oh, right, it's uh, it's pre pre programmed. He can't miss. C Bouncy B make the letter. Okay, Bouncy B, show us how to make a B. Look at the B making a B. Beception. There we are. Isn't that beautiful? A rounded B. Can we skip with space? No, nope. we have to watch this B make a B. And another B. Because we have two cases, folks, with upper and lower case. That looks like upper case again, bouncy B. That looks suspiciously like you're doing the same thing over again. I'm on to you. Two Bs. Or not two Bs? That is the question. Draw the letter in the air. <laughs> okay, I'm moving my finger in the air. It, it's not interactive. It's just a presentation. Um, not much else to say about it, really. Uh, it's very much of its time. Um, back in 1985, to see a graphical interface teaching children via the computer screen about letters was probably, you know, fun and interesting and uh, exciting. And I'm still sitting here looking at this. Right, what next? Say the letter name, B. Okay, now what? What do you want from me, game? How do I, I've already said it, game. I've said the letter name. Stop, I implore you. Let me go back to... Uh, it's just the same thing over again. And I don't know how to quit. Um, so... <laughs> um, would I recommend this edutainment title? Not anymore. It's been superseded by a lot more colourful and interesting titles with sound and, and, and interactivity and so on. This is just a bee making letters. And fair play to him for doing it, you know, 30 plus years ago. But nowadays, it's, it's, a, it's a tech demo, essentially, for what an IBM personal computer could do in the mid-80s. So, thank you, Bouncy B, for your tutoring on the letter B. And if you want to see me play other edutainment titles, I come across them every so often. Um, I have hundreds of other videos of regular games. Uh, feel free to check them out, and if you like it, feel free to subscribe.
Toodle pip. Or should I say, buzz off? <laughs>